I don't know anything about a rewards online. Help me find my grandson. We need to get that little boy back with his mother. Now, if anybody has information that leads to his safe return, I'll present you with this. It's a check for a million dollars. We're gonna find him, Mr. Buchanan. I'm sure there's someone out there who has seen Dr. Sage. Oh, uh, you're looking at him, Lee. And that person won't need a monetary incentive to do Yeah, because again, I never sent that sent. Vicky, I know you and Dr. Saybrook are old friends. Can you tell us why she'd run off with your grandson? Uh, we, we just... We just want Liam to come home. Marty, please, if you have Liam, please bring him back. Look, we'll get you whatever help you need, okay? Just bring him home. And please don't hurt anyone else. If you've seen Dr. Saybrook or baby Liam, please call the number on the screen. Thank you. This is Blanca Morales reporting for WVL News. We out? Good. Thank you, Ms. Morales. Yes, we, we uh, appreciate your help. Are you kidding? This is ratings gold. But I should be thanking you for letting our viewers into your lives at this difficult time. Just makes us all more human, doesn't it? Mr. Buchanan, ready to go back to your room? Yeah. Good luck, uh, Miss Morales. Thank you. Daddy. Thank you. I'm going to get little Liam back into your arms if it's the last thing I do. Now, you get some rest because you have to heal. That was a terrible fall you had. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're the one I'm worried about. No, I'm good. I'm indestructible. Just ask your mother. Okay. Mom, I'm, I'm worried about Dad. He still needs to recover from his heart attack. Hey, you know your father. Worrying about you lets him kind of forget about his own situation. I know, but he still shouldn't have promised that he could bring Liam home. Oh, my sweet, sweet girl. I would have made you the same promise. We don't have any information of... You found Liam? No, not yet. Oh, it's been too long. No, no, no. Natalie, you mustn't think like that, honey. How can I not? My son was kidnapped by a homicidal maniac. No, 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 but we know Marty's history, okay? She's not going to hurt him, okay? We know that what she wants is a baby. Don't you remember how confused she was when he was born, how she thought he was hers? You found her in the hospital nursery? Okay, she's not going to hurt him. And now that the appeal is airing, someone is bound to see her and call in. Honey, they will find him. Please, please, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, hi. No, 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 don't put me on hold. I've been, I've been, I've been on 10 minutes already. Listen, I know where the kid is, the missing kid. The Buchanan kid. Yeah. Look, I, like, I'm gonna tell you. Do you think I'm an idiot? Cash first. Fine, be that way. I'll just go down there and tell the family myself. Got the whole force on this. We'll bring Liam home. CSU Swoop John's place? Yeah. What we find? The analysis hasn't come back yet. What's the holdup? Natalie, it's only been a couple of hours. It's Moroni, isn't it? He's the slowest lab tech on the planet. Damn it, I mean, I need to be there to make sure all of this is no. going okay. I gotta get out of here. No, you're not going anywhere until the doctors say you can. <sighs> okay, what, what about my clothes and Kelly's clothes? Hey. There's gotta be fibers because there was definitely physical We're contact on it, with Marty. We're on it. Okay, Mulroney hasn't taken a break since I brought the stuff over to him. Everybody is doing everything they can. Okay, so where are we? Well, you gotta have some leads. Squad's in the field. Following up on what? Brody, we made an agreement. No more secrets. Whatever it is, you better tell us. John and I went to question Marty's psychiatrist. Dr. Buhari? Well, she's, she's gotta talk. I mean, my, Marty's crossed the line. Yeah. Only, uh, 
We found her in her office. She bled out multiple stab wounds. <gasps> oh my God. Marty was her last appointment, so the assumption is... Marty killed her. Look at how cute this kid is. <laughs> you hurt everybody you touch. Marty Saybrook, Natalie, Kelly Kramer. Hell, half the crime in Landview tracks back to you. And the other half is yours. I will search for my grandson as I see fit. And it would be awfully nice if you were to do your job and join the search. Lorna, let's go in. Gotta wash the stress. Well, you know something? I don't think relaxing is gonna help find my grandson. When I get in this bed, why don't you raise it up just a little bit? Allow me. And then you can get this vulture out of here. Is that any way to speak to the woman who just put your grandson's plight on TV? Yeah. For ratings. Ratings. That's all you bloodsuckers care about. I have a local Emmy. Well, and you know what you can do with it. You can escort the Emmy winning out of here. Oh, I think you want to hear what I have to say, Mr. Buchanan. I'm about to run with an exclusive about you and your family. And you're sure that you... Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Lorna, I'm going to do a story that's going to rock Landview. Thank you, Miss Morales. You'll make sure we're not disturbed. I've got fans everywhere. So what is it you want? Just a comment, Clint. May I call you Clint? No, you may not. Eddie Ford, may he rest in peace. Those charges were dropped against me. Which means the killer is still out there. But not for long. My sources tell me they're about to file new charges against your nephew, Matthew. I know Dr. Bahari. She's spoken in front of the board. She's dead? She was gone when we found her. You think Marty did it? We don't know anything for sure, but that's the assumption. But why? Because of the timing. She was Marty's last patient. Yeah, but the thing is, there's a pattern to Marty's behavior, isn't there? And there's no random violence. She went after Natalie and Kelly because she wants John, and she thought they were in her way. Well, we can only speculate at this point. But maybe Marty felt threatened. Dr. Bahari might have been pressuring her to go back to St. Anne's. Maybe she could see that Marty was falling apart. Maybe she knew something. I... I think I know why Marty killed her. There's a tape. Dr. Buhari tapes all of her sessions. Marty knew that. That's got to be why she killed her. How do you know about this tape? I took it. I had to. Uh... Every time I ran into Marty, she kept going on and on about how she broke John and me up. And I, I was just going to brush it off. But she wouldn't let it go. She was trying to torture me with so it. So you broke into Dr. Bahari's office? Let's just say it came into my possession, okay? So what's on the tape? I don't know. I, I was just about to listen to it when I, I ran into Brody. to the tape. I don't know. Uh, what is this you're saying about my nephew? Matthew murdered Eddie Ford in a fit of rage over what the bastard had done to his mother. Talk about a hot story. That's impossible. That he'd do it or that his parents would cover it up. Are you out of your mind? Your brother and your ex-wife tried to pin the Eddie Ford murder on you, if I recall. I wouldn't put anything past them. Care to comment? Run with this story, and I will run you into the ground. I'm a journalist. You can't intimidate me. Wait! I can't remember anything after I saw you, Brody. W well, let's try and figure it out then, okay? So sometime after you saw Brody, you called John and you left him a message saying it was urgent you see him. 
And you took Liam and you went over to John's apartment looking for him. And you didn't find him there, so you went up on the roof. Where I found Marty. Yeah, so somewhere in there the tape went missing. And I'm guessing you listened to the tape. Right, right, which would be why, why I wanted to see John. So the tape might be the key to this whole thing. We find that tape, we find Marty. And Liam. Okay, I know where they are. Let's go. I'll bring Liam home, I promise. Just be careful. I can't keep lying. The time has come to tell the truth about who killed Eddie Ford. It was me. Why haven't they called? I mean, they will call you just as soon as they can. Here. Mm -hmm. Liam's hungry. He always gets hungry now. I know. I want you to listen to me, okay? Whatever we know about Marty or what she's become, we know one thing for sure. She is a mother as well, okay? And she will take care of Liam. She will not hurt him. She already has by taking him away from me. Maybe. Brody and John have gone to get him. He'll be back in your arms in no time, okay? Okay? 